Hey, it's Scott Broom. How are you? Hey, um, I've been assigned to do a digital hit, and I've got a shot up, and I'm trying to figure out uh, when to go. Uh, oh, well, here's the problem. The phone that you guys would communicate with me on is the same phone that's used as a live shot. This is a perennial problem ever since we started using the phone apps and it's never been addressed. When the reporter is using the phone for the live shot, he cannot communicate any other way, which is why I'm calling you on a clamshell that I have in the car. So um, uh, I guess what I'm getting at is, well, yeah, when should I go and how long do I need to go? I think I got to go like 10, 12 minutes, don't I, at least? Okay. And at what time should I do that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it exactly at 120. I'll start talking. And I'll get myself walked over there and uh, ready to go. And I'll just start talking and go for a few minutes and then I'll drop off and I really appreciate your help. Well, can... All right, can I give you a visual cue then to when I'm ready to go, like a wave or what should I do? Let me give you a thumbs up or something. I'll give you a visual cue from the thumbs up point. I'll be about 10 seconds and I'll do it at 120. Okay. Thanks, Jasmine. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, Chris, I just got on the phone with Jasmine, and I'm about to do this. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, before you go, this is a, always a thing with these phone apps. That you just, the phone is tied up, so we can't communicate normally, and it's just a real kind of a crisis. Yeah, this is a clamshell use for IFT. So it's all, it's, you know, it's good, but it's not good. I mean, I've been, we were kind of got away from the phone app for a while and never really dealt with this. And now we're back to it. Okay. I'm about to do this shot. So thank you very much for being the middleman and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Early voting, Prince George's County Equestrian Center. Going to do this in about 10 seconds. All right, Scott Broom with you. And I'm at the Prince George's County Equestrian Center here in Upper Marlboro. This is one of 11 early voting centers that is uh, up and running here in Prince George's County beginning today. And let me tell you, uh, the crowds at this early voting center and uh, everywhere else we've checked in both Montgomery and Prince George's County uh, have had huge lines today, a huge demand, 
uh, for people to come out and vote in person beginning today with early voting. So I'm going to show you right now the front of the equestrian center. And uh, this is just entering the building. And here is the line beginning here. It's a socially distanced line. So it's people standing six feet apart, which makes the line quite long as it stretches around uh, this big equestrian center, indoor horse show facility and event center here in Prince George's County. So uh, you're seeing a lot, a lot of people, huge parking lot here as well, as people come out to early vote uh, here in Prince George's. All right, so uh, who's coming out today? We're finding uh, lots and lots of people who just uh, simply were not comfortable with the idea of voting by mail or putting something in a drop box. A, a lot of them told uh, both myself and colleagues at WUSA 9 today that um, they're anxious about the U.S. mail service. They're anxious about the news that they've read about um, the current administration's changes to the mail service. And there is somewhat of a crisis of confidence among many of these voters who wanted to come out early today here in Prince George's County uh, to cast their votes. Uh, there are 11 early voting centers here in Prince George's County. Only 11. A normal election without the virus, without the COVID, would have upwards of 275 precincts available on election day. That's simply not going to happen. So people who want to vote in person, uh, they want to get out early. They want to make sure it happens. We have uh, every day, 7 a.m. till 8 p.m., now until uh, the day before the election, to come out and early vote. So there's going to be time to do this, but as you can see here, people are uh, lined up uh, to come in. Now, because of virus restrictions, I would have to invade somebody's personal space using the technology I'm using right now to interview folks, so uh, we're not going to be talking to people right now as we do this, but... Uh, let me assure you, a lot of them want to come out, uh, a heavily Democratic county, obviously. Uh, a lot of them are very motivated to vote in the presidential election. Many of them very motivated to vote against President Trump, even though uh, really Maryland is uh, the outcome because it's a heavily Democratic state, uh, really is not viewed by most political observers as even in play. But these are people who want to have their voices heard. Big difference between 11 early voting centers and a uh, trim back number of, of uh, 11 voting centers, which will happen actually on election day, to the normal 275 precincts. So uh, a lot of voting experts and people with boards of elections locally have been saying the key to voting is whatever you choose, whether it's vote by mail, uh, early voting, etc., cetera, uh, to make a plan and execute it. Uh, obviously today, the heavy lines early in the days and late in the days as people are on uh, coming either going to or coming back from work. Those are your heaviest times, but you can make a plan uh, to, to get to one of these early voting centers at uh, different hours, uh, different day. Um, and uh, Montgomery County even has an app available for you to go on and see where lines are uh, shortest, uh, where you might want to drive to uh, register your early vote. Now, vote by mail is also uh, turning unprecedented huge numbers here in Maryland. Uh, folks who voted, wanted to vote by mail have already requested more than 1.6 million ballots statewide here in Maryland, and um, more than half of those have already been returned. But there's a lot of process involved to get those uh, scanned in and opened and counted uh, and that's all going to take time, and it may take a significant amount of time after the polls close on Election Day. So people who feel like they want to vote in person have the vote counted immediately. Um, they're turning out for things like early voting and uh, actual voting on uh, Election Day. Um, uh, an important point here in Prince George's County is uh, just... Uh, uh, how few of these centers there are compared to uh, the normal count of precincts. Normal count, again, upwards of 275 precincts. This is now down to 11 
early voting centers. Now, if you are uh, anxious about the ballot you got in the mail and have changed your mind and have decided that you want to vote in person instead, and there are plenty of people who, who that's happening with, uh, you can do it. You can vote in person, but you have to cast a provisional ballot, a provisional ballot. So that means that you're going to have to come in, uh, uh, fill out a special form. Uh, you'll be able to vote. There's no question about that. But uh, your name will be checked against the poll books, and uh, it'll be double checked because the vote by mail ballot that already went out to you has been recorded in the poll book that you've been sent a ballot. So uh, the provisional vote is there to be sure that uh, should a ballot come in uh, and there's some question about whether or not uh, it's been uh, voted by mail and then you show up in person and vote, that's the prov provisional ballot process is designed to get around that. Uh, it, it's virtually impossible uh, to vote twice because if you get a mail-in ballot, it has a barcode on it. It's the very same thing as coming into an in-person center and having your name checked against the list and crossed off and they give you the ballot. Same thing. So if you've asked for a, a mail-in ballot uh, and then show up to vote in person, the, the poll book is going to identify you as someone who already has a ballot. And uh, that's why you're going to be asked to vote provisionally. So that's an important thing to know as uh, people consider, maybe have second thoughts as things are unfolding. Uh, they got a mail-in ballot. They didn't use it. Uh, they messed it up, whatever, and they want to come in and vote in person. Voting authorities assure you that you can vote, but it will be by provisional ballot because of the complications I just talked about. Okay, here we are again. This is the uh, Showplace Arena, basically the equestrian center here outside Upper Marlboro in Prince George's County. This line has been like this all day. It extends a social distance line, by the way, so people are six feet apart as they do this. And that makes the distance of the line go uh, around the corner here and well around the building. I'll take you for a walk here as we do that without invading people's space. Let me move in this direction very quickly and we'll walk around the Showplace Arena. People have been uh, lined up since before the sun came up this morning. The polls open at 7. Uh, people were out here in the dark to do this. Some people have even brought folding chairs uh, to stay comfortable while they're in line. Total um, time in line <clears throat> has been close to an hour or a little more, uh, although the line, as you can see, as I continue to walk, it, it extends around the building. Uh, thankfully, this building has a, a cover so as we get rainy days or bad weather as early voting continues, uh, this is a nice spot to do it because you'll be protected by the weather. And again, people still arriving here all the way around the back. So the line looks really, really long, but you gotta remember part of that length is people are spaced out uh, six feet. Again, though, uh, a clear indication of the demand uh, for early voting here in Prince George's County. Same is going on around the rest of the state. So to recap this, from here at the Equestrian Center, Prince George's County, early voting beginning today in Maryland, in this county and all the others, uh, with really, really big lines, despite the fact that more than 1.6 million people have requested mail-in ballots and half of those folks have sent them in. There's still a lot of people who want to do it in person. And many of them have told us today, one of the reasons they want to do it in person is because of the anxiety about uh, the Postal Service and uh, some of what's occurred with the current administration, making some changes at the Postal Service, which has raised some questions in their minds. They want their vote counted. Even in a state like Maryland, heavily Democratic, really, according to political experts, not necessarily in play. These people want their voices heard. Turnout is very heavy. It's been heavy uh, both here and in vote by mail, completely off the charts with 1.6 million ballots requested and 800,000 of them returned already. So that's what we're seeing. If you're an early voter in Maryland, the advice is make a plan. 
when you can come out, when you can make the time, what voting location center you want to go to. Make the plan ahead of time. Don't just do it off the cuff to make sure that you have the time to make it happen and make your vote count. Thanks for being with me.